Salam Pulisuar in a lynch, so Cresto and Nazareta, Kialevo Hahorta, Tilacachi, Norsens and Rosola Peleca Serisi Arena, Mudimuk Mudima Lukileng, Ebilena Kong, and our Sens and Retainical Level One. We thank God for an opportunity, our feeling yona. So, Kachinuki Batla Hoshera Lele Nakasho Hose Latelang, a way forward, way up ele. Rea Pele Biang Momayemong Ari Pumani Mo Rilemohona, Bianaka Sichaba. Remember, we have been a mo CMO in COVID 19, Hotwa, Kahuidia March, who fitella now. So, but Baban Chivala says we came seventy, but Babanga Tabala says we came my pillow abon, Ababan Balasetsi came locumis all. So, Poso Elin Tenkohor Nalue and Hotwins as in Lakacheno, how do we move forward? How do we proceed after uh, six months, Eribile Moyona, with uh, this pandemic? So, Katia Nukebatla, Ribue Kasso Sessering, Ria Biam Pili, Relevo Hamudimu, because of Mudimuki Mudimu at Sepahalam, Are Rapel, Father Kalibisole Matala Chesu Christo Anasaret, Lord, we give praise, glory, honor unto you that Lord lead us, Mudimuaka Mosebele Sunyasa Sila Kachenu, Hobani Papa Kuena Oseban Sotle. Father, we are praying and ask that the Holy Spirit let it be the one that guide us through Sebele Soena. Lord, you know each and every one of us, we know. Our shortcomings, Mudimaka. I pray that let it be you that use us, Mudimaka. Hutli Samola is also anything. Kalibis Ole Matalam Pulisuar and Ellen Crestech, so one as a red. Amen. Kibatla Rilin Sunla Mudimumu Booking Yaba Philippi. Let's go to the book of Philippians, chapter 3. We are going to read from verse 13 up to 14. Yona Ebale Hakatela Eki, Sureka Puez Hoa. Empa kito na ke salosa kama lime afa pa fapa ni yona e baleha katselai. My brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do: forgetting what is behind and straining towards what is ahead, I press on towards the goal to win the prize. For which God has called me, heaven was in Jesus' name. So, more by the Motengi, Paulo se Obelela Mansu Anna, Arike le Baladin Tokau fell at Efitiling. There are many people who get stuck in the past that they do not even move to the present times, Mobile Motengi. Nevertheless, we are copy le Quatla mea Balinkoting. So, Paulo se Oremohorona, I forget the former things, Kele Baladin Tot Efitiling, because of what is behind me? Ibile tengi kalebaka kasipio. So we need to try and learn to forget what is behind us, because of remember, if you get stuck more than twenty feet long, you cannot proceed. You cannot see what is ahead of you. There are people by long horbai e mimon twenty kale that they are not even enjoying the present moment. Tseba pila mozona. Because of their still holder, basa tsuere kinto tse fitile. Baba basa tsuere hore ba ukuise bushoko keba tuba kopani lebona mama pilong before bakapuru. So baba mbaba na basa ukuise bushoko kinto tse saledi tsa halakhale basa le baba ni ane bakteta hobeleho. People are still holding on to the past that they don't even see a future. Kika mo ba tuba ngata baring boka mo so baka kike bobun tsufela. God did not. Let us to live like that. Mudimu harat or repile, Cassie Monse, Mudimu Obata Hor, remove a copeli. You see, if you are not growing, uh, uh, it simply means that I'll uh, uh, produce. And Mudimu Abatli, people that are living only without not producing. And then, but Babangata, they get caught up in the things that hurts them. And that's where the enemy wants us. The enemy does not want us to move forward. Remember, hey, Banaba Israeli. The enemy did not want them to move out of slavery. He wanted to keep them there because of he knew that if they progress, if there's a lot of things he has already said for them along the way. And then that will, will, will bring a disaster into his kingdom. So I want to encourage you, Tasilaka Chenu, as Paul has spoken, that we should not hold on to the former things. Yes, those things were there. They happened for a reason. You get hurt, you got bent, but it is time for you to move forward. 
You cannot live like that. You cannot hold on to your past. That's the reason why you are growing. Remember when you were born, we used to use uh, and then we were using uh, napkins to, to in order to dress you. You couldn't do that yourself. But there's a time where you were born and then you moved forward. You started eating solid food. So it is important and it is critical that only more you should grow up. You should not be stagnant. There are some of you are still holding to your old boyfriend that was hurting you. So now when you see other men, you see them as trash. There are those that are seeing women as just snakes because of somebody hurt you in the past. Is it true what you are saying? Is it a true reflection? Or is it a perception that you've got because of in the past you went through something like that? I want to encourage you today that forget the former things. Paul said he is pressing on. He is pushing on towards the mark, towards the goal that he has been set before him. It is important that you move towards your goal. It is not good for you to just exist in this world. But you must live in this world. Many people are just existing because of their, their past. It's holding them back. They're still holding on to the previous things. Hey, my mother did not raise me well. My father did not raise well. Yes, that happened. And then it has passed. No, you are an older person. You are still holding on and crying about your mother who did not treat you well or your father or your friend or whatsoever that you or your teacher who did not hold you, who did not uh, encourage you. But now you have seen the light. It is time for you to press on. You cannot dent the purpose that God has given unto you for the mere fact that things happen in the past. It is time for you to move on. How do we move forward? It's simple. The word of God says, we fix our eyes towards Christ. That's where we need to go. Why should we fix our eyes towards Christ? Because of he knows the way. He has been through this. Remember he came on this earth, he had opposition. He had people that were always fighting, making noise about every wrong thing that they had, every wrong thing that they thought it was about him. But he persevered. He did what was good. What was good, despite of all the oppositions that were there. And then what happened? He was able to overcome. He was able to overcome those situations. So he has laid the foundation. He has showed as that it is possible. So, it is time for us to move forward. Forget the former things. Forget is into as Don't hold back to your past. That's why now, if you check the technology that we are using, it's not the old technology that we used to have. Some of you are still caught up in the mind of a 3310 cell phone, whereas there's a smartphone that you can use. It can do a lot of things. So we need to move from a 3310 mentality and move to a smartphone mentality. You see, when you are connected to the server with a, with a smartphone, it always tells you about the new things, the new updates that are coming in our life. We need to move on to the new things that God is doing and stop holding on to what happened, what happened, what happened, what happened. We need to move forward. Christ is calling us. Press on towards the mark of the highest calling, not just a minimum, a high calling. God is calling us to come towards him. Remember what happened to Peter. Christ said to him, come. He asked Christ, Lord, if it's you, call me so that I can come to you. And Christ said to him, come. And then he realized that as a human being, you cannot walk on water. You, the reason why he started he started doubting. He started looking back. He started looking at the things that were on the other side. Instead of focusing, instead of putting uh, his focus upon Christ, we need to let go. And then we need to move forward. Yes, you got hurt. Acknowledge that you got hurt. And ask God to assist you to move forward. You cannot win the prize if you come last on the race. That mentality is not working. There isn't a thing that everybody is a winner. No, there's no such a thing. Those that persevere, those that get to the finishing line, those that get to the point 
are the ones that will be able to overcome. There's no one size fits all. We need to move forward. Paul said, I press on towards the mark of the highest calling. We need to press on. We need to move forward. But you cannot move forward if you don't have God with you. If your eyes are not fixed on Jesus. May the good Lord help us. May God be with us. Let us be able to change our mindsets. Let us be able to know what is better. There is a better place for you. There is a better uh, gift. There are better things ahead of you. But if only you persevere, if only you press, if you go forward, you will be able to achieve those things. You cannot hold on on the past and think that you will receive the crown. May God really touch our hearts. Even during this pandemic, it's not here for a lifetime. It's just there for a particular period. And in that period, is getting to an end. Let's move forward. Don't forget your purpose while you are here on earth. I thank you. Father, we give praise. We give glory. We give honor, my God. Father, you have spoken through your word. Your word is active, sharper than any double-edged sword. Father, help us to hear your word. Help us, my God, to change our mindset. Help us, Lord, to be able to fix our eyes upon Christ. That, Lord, each and everything we do, it shall be led by the Holy Spirit. God, we have been through a lot of things, but what we know is that with you, all things are possible. And, Father, we thank you that you are still with us even during this particular time. We thank you, God, that you have spoken to us today, that we should look forward and we should move forward by fixing our eyes upon Christ. We pray this in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Christ. Amen.